Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of our flower garden. I had some requests from you guys to do a summer updated garden tour, but I decided to split it up. We're gonna do the flowers today and then a veggie garden separate. So stay tuned for that one. But without further ado, let's get in and give you the tour. So first off, just heading into the garden. This wreath is from Target. This is one of the Hearth and Home wreaths. I love that so much. I think when summer's over, I'll probably put that into like on our front door. I thought it was just so cute. Along the top of the garden bed here, we've got two lanterns and those are both from Target. And then the string lights that I've got up on top, those are from Home Depot. So if I can't find those exact ones, I will link comparable ones. And also, shout out, I've got a couple of my natural citronella candles in the lantern, so if you haven't already seen that, make sure you check it out. I'll put it up in the cards and down below. So let's go over here to our first row, the one we've got in the front. This flower here is actually an echinacea plant. I love this so much. These make excellent fresh cut flowers, so that's pretty much what I had in mind for everything, all the flowers in here. This is my cut flower garden, so all of this stuff is ready to be clipped and brought inside, not part of our like landscape of our yard, so I don't have to feel guilty about clipping flowers. Um, but yeah, this one's Echinacea. Over here, this big plant, this is a Zinnia. I love these so much. Next year, I wanna plant a bunch of them from seed now that we've got our uh, fencing up here. By the way, this is, I think it's called bird netting. I got this off of Amazon, but this is what I'm using to keep the chickens out of the garden. So anyways, these are Zinnias. Also behind me, I've got some dahlias. I really love the whites, um, the yellows, pinks, purples, just things that'll all kind of interchange for bouquets and stuff. So I've got dahlias here. This plant right here, this little one, this is actually, I'm not sure the name of this, but a friend of mine brought it over. It's a little start from a plant she had. I've got one over here and also one towards the front over there. She says they're really cute and they make bright orange blossoms. So I'm excited about that. And then right over here, this is called Russian Heather. I believe that's what's called, a Russian Sage. And um, yeah, I really love these blossoms. I noticed the bees are really attracted to this one too. Over here, the second row that we've got going in the middle, um, this is another clipping that a friend of mine brought over. This is called Alstromeria. I think I'm saying that right. It's one that they have commonly in a lot of bouquets that you'll find at the store. Uh, it's a really great one for like a filler. It adds kind of a bright pink and then also like a leopard print. It looks, looks like leopard print to me at least on the blooms. And it lasts a really long time when you cut it. So we've got that here. Also another dahlia down here. And then this one, and this is called delphinium. These make these long, almost like a cone of flowers. I've already clipped this one this year, but we've got a couple more that are starting to come on. And then this one, these are gonna be so pretty. Especially next year, this plant is totally new to me, so it's just growing in, just getting established. Next up over here is another one of the dahlias, similar to the white one that we had over there. I love these and fresh cut bouquets. Also this plant that's gonna have the orange blooms that my friend, it's the same one that my friend Laura brought that has the orange blossoms. Over here, I think this is called Starry Lights. Um, another one that's new to me, but it's kind of bloomed out. I, need, I do need to do some um, clipping so it can start with some new blooms. One thing that I'm really excited about that I wasn't expecting when I put in this garden bed was all of the volunteer plants from the compost we had. So you'll notice kind of throughout the garden, I got these random little sprouts. I think these might be cucumbers. Let me know what you guys think they are. I'm thinking it's either cucumber, a cantaloupe, or watermelon. I don't know, whatever it is, I'm gonna let it grow and then we'll see and hopefully get some free veggies out of our compost scraps. Moving over to the back row here, we've got some, well, pretty ugly looking plants. These are actually some raspberry starts that my husband's grandma gave us. She's got a bunch of raspberry plants so she gave us a bunch of the starts. I guess the root goes down to a T and you just plant that. She said to do it every like two or three feet apart. So we've got, I think nine across this way. So hopefully next year they'll be all grown in and we'll have a ton of raspberry plants to eat from. And then we've got two more flower bushes that I've been cutting from. There are hydrangeas. They're in different parts of the yard. So they're different colors. One is this brilliant blue and I love it so much. I've been using it a lot inside for bouquets and the more I cut it, it just keeps coming back. So I've really been enjoying that. And then we also have this bright purple one. It's so pretty. I love having a variety, but we've definitely been loving those this year. And then the last plant that we've got in the garden are these green beans. These are the kind that like to trail up and climb. So I put in this little makeshift hardware cloth uh, trellis here. And yeah, I already had a ton of green beans planted, but then like I said, a friend of mine brought some starts over and I could not refuse green beans. So. I'm gonna get these climbing up this trellis. They're almost tall enough to start grabbing onto it now. 
but I figured since the raspberry plants aren't going to do anything this year since we just put them in, um, might as well give the green beans a chance and use them up. So anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for our flower garden tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the vegetable garden tour. I'm going to have that coming up really, really quick. I upload new videos every Monday and Friday, so you don't want to miss out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later.